Hey guys, today's video is about pressure cares. I've split this video into three parts again. Uh, first, we'll speaking, first we'll speak about the pressure curve of the atrium, then the ventricles, and finally we'll speak about the aortic pressure curve. We will start with the atrial one, and this is what it looks like. So we've got four, um, or rather five waves in total, but three of them are important. So I'll be mentioning those. We've got A, C, um, X and Y on the graph, but we'll speak about A, C and V. So the maximum pressure would be 20 A is for atrial contraction, so it is the pump that starts it off. C is for ventricle, um, ventricular contraction basically, the ventricles begin to contract. Um, and V wave is not under a graph because it disappears when blood flows rapidly into the ventricles, but um, it marks the end of the ventricular contraction. So it's like a slow flow of blood into the atria from the veins. Now we will move to the ventricular pressure curves. And you need to remember two things about this. You need to remember the end systolic volume and the end diastolic volume, which you might be asked in the exam. So the former has is 60 milliliters and for the diastolic, You've got 130 milliliters of blood. So this is what the graph looks like. Um, the dotted lines mark the valve closure or opening. So you've got the atrioventricular valve closes in the beginning before the ejection. Uh, fraction, fraction, and then you've got the atrioventricular valve um, opening when there is uh, diastole. So on the top, we've got first the aortic valve, which is closed. Um, sorry, it opens first because the atrioventricular valve closes, and then you've got the uh, closing of the atrioventricular valve. The closing of the aortic valve which causes the atrioventricular valve to open sorry so you need to remember three phases um, from the last video the cardiac cycle so you've got the ejection phase where you've got the rapid and the reduced um, phases then you have the isovolumic contraction and isovolumic relaxation And this is what the ventricular pressure curve should look like. Moving on to the last one, you've got the aortic pressure curve. So you need to remember two things again. You've got the systolic phase and the diastolic phase. Now the systolic phase is the ejected wave and the diastolic phase is the reflected wave um, and this is what the graph looks like. You've got two peaks This line, which is not so straight, shows the separation between the two phases. The highlighted bit is the systolic phase, and the other one is the diastolic phase. What 
you need to know about this um, graph is the notch between both the waves and this is called the because it's the dichotic notch in Caesura. The notch is caused by the aortic valve bulging backwards into the left ventricle under the weight of the aortic pressure when it closes. And that would be it for this video. Thank you for watching. Yeah.